The Elite 25 fully automatic drilling machine with gluing and inserting. The Elite 25 features a 5 second drilling, gluing and inserting cycle, a closed glue system, and a self-diagnostic electronic programmer to control all the machine functions. The machine can also be ordered as the Elite 50 with the addition of a 25 spindle vertical drilling unit, which is programmed to function with the horizontal drilling and inserting mode. The Ganymat Elites are the perfect complement to any CNC machining center. At the far right side of the Elite is the consolidated control panel. This panel consists of a main on and off switch, the glue potentiometer, and the hopper feed on and off switch and adjustment. On the upper panel is the emergency stop button. Next to this is a control panel on switch which illuminates green when the machine is ready. To the right of this is the low glue warning light which flashes red when the glue volume is below one liter or constant red when the machine is in the standby mode or has a malfunction. The black switch is a selector switch for the different functions of the machine. These settings are A. Tool change and cleaning B. Drilling only C. Gluing only C plus D, gluing and inserting, and B plus C plus D, drilling, gluing, and inserting. Just above are the right and left mirror image switches, which glow yellow when on and indicate which side of the table to place the workpiece. The eight button switches at the top turn the inserters and glue pumps on and off. These switches are numbered from left to right, the first number, or from right to left, the second number. When they are illuminated, along with one of the yellow button switches, the machine is in a mirror image mode. A typical mirror image setup would work as follows. As an example, we want to drill and insert four dowels in a 12 inch panel. Turn on the inserters 1, 2, 3, and 4. Next push the left mirror image switch. Our first drilling and insertion process will take place on the left side of the machine. If I decide I want to start on the right side of the machine, I just push the right switch. The inserters are switched over. In this instance, I will start on the left. The cycle is initiated. As soon as the cycle nears completion, the mirror imaging is automatically switched to the right side. In other words, the left four inserters are turned off and the right four are turned on. I now move the workpiece to the right side and finish the processing of this panel. This Elite is equipped with optional bidirectional hold down clamps. The horizontal clamps can hold small parts in a vertical position against the clamping fence. This is useful for drilling small parts. An example of these would be drawer parts. The vertical clamps clamp parts to the working table surface for drilling, gluing, and inserting of dowels and other end boring functions. The clamps easily adjust across the clamp frame to accommodate any size workpiece. On all Elite models, the front safety fence and clamp carrier open for easy access to the drill head and injectors. This feature makes it easy to access this area for routine maintenance.
The Elite 25 has a 768 millimeter or 30 and a quarter inch long drill head. The standard Elite 25 has eight inserters, which are adjustable on 32 millimeter centers to the 32 millimeter pitch of the drill head. To adjust the inserters, pull the setting pin located in the rear of each unit. The inserter will then move easily along the round indexing bar on a Teflon bushing. Once positioned over a drill spindle, the pin sets into a groove on the indexing support bar. Towels are fed from the hopper through each tube to a retaining pin just above the insertion point. Adjusting for different dowel lengths is both easy and quick. With the Elite 50, we add the additional capability of vertical boring with a separate 25mm drilling unit, which is mounted under the table. All adjustments for the drill head are in front. A look from the top shows the drill head and spindles, as well as the setback and stops. The vertical drill head, like the horizontal drill head, has 25 spindles and is 768mm long. The drilling distance from the edge of the panel is from 0 to 40 millimeters to cover all possible RTA fitting combinations. Although almost exactly the same as the Elite 25, the control panel for the Elite 50 does have an additional selector switch for the vertical head. There are five selections which work in tandem with the horizontal drilling unit and dowel insertion. These selections are E, horizontal drilling only. This is selected when inserting dowels with no vertical drilling. F, vertical drilling only. G, the combination of automatic vertical then horizontal drilling. An example of this function would be drilling for RTA fittings where dowels are to be inserted and the RTA fittings are to be on the outside of the cabinet. Selection H is exactly the same function, except the drilling and inserting of dowels is separate from the vertical drilling stage. This is used when RTA fittings are to be on the inside of the cabinet. The last selection, which is designated S, is open and can be programmed for special functions.